Our story begins not in the packed stadiums of Major League Baseball, but in the sun-baked fields of Las Vegas, Nevada. Here, in the relentless desert heat, a young Bryce Harper was forging his path to greatness, far from the limelight of professional sports. Harper wasn't just another kid with a dream. He was a prodigy, a once-in-a-generation talent who lived and breathed baseball. His journey to stardom began early, with every swing, every hit, and every home run setting him apart from his peers. By the age of 16, Harper's exploits on the field were so extraordinary that Sports Illustrated crowned him baseball's chosen one. This wasn't just a title, it was a prophecy, heralding the arrival of a new icon in the world of baseball. Among the tales of Harper's early years, one legend stands out a home run that reportedly traveled an astonishing 570 feet. While some skeptics questioned the feat, there was no denying Harper's raw power and skill. This was more than just a hit. It was a declaration of Harper's boundless potential. Those who witnessed Harper's rise firsthand speak of his relentless work ethic and unwavering dedication. Bryce was different, one coach remarked. He wasn't just playing. He was perfecting his craft, driven by a force we rarely see in someone so young. But Harper's journey was not without its challenges. His intense competitiveness and confidence, often misconstrued as arrogance, painted a target on his back. As Harper continued to shatter records and defy expectations, the world took notice. But with great talent came great scrutiny, and Harper's every move was analyzed, criticized, and debated. As Bryce Harper stepped onto the Major League Baseball stage, the air was thick with anticipation. Would baseball's chosen one live up to the colossal expectations set by his mythic rise through the ranks? Harper, with a bat in hand and a steely determination in his eyes, was ready to answer that question in the only way he knew how, by playing hard and fast. From the moment he put on the Washington Nationals jersey, Harper transformed the team's dynamic. His debut was nothing short of electrifying. His blend of raw power, speed, and an arm that could launch missiles from the outfield made him a threat in every aspect of the game. But it wasn't just his physical talents that made headlines. Harper's aggressive approach to the game, his hustle on the bases, and his fearless plays in the outfield captivated fans. Yet the same intensity sparked debates. Was Harper pushing the game forward, or was he a relic of a bygone era of baseball brashness? Rookie of the Year honors soon followed, an accolade that seemed predestined. But his sights were set on leading the Nationals to glory, embodying the spirit of a leader far beyond his years. With every swing, every sprint, every throw, Harper was turning baseball heads for some good reasons and some for bad. Yet, the path of a superstar is never devoid of challenges. Injuries and controversies shadowed Harper's journey, testing his resolve. Each time, Harper's response was to come back stronger, to silence critics not with words, but with the crack of his bat and the roar of the crowds. As Harper's career progressed, each season added new chapters to his growing legend. From breathtaking home runs to clutch hits in the dying moments of games, Harper became the heart and soul of the Nationals. In the heart of every competitor beats a fire that can illuminate or consume. Bryce Harper's fire has often been a beacon, guiding his team through the tumultuous seas of the MLB season, but it has also been a blaze, attracting controversy and confrontation. Let's explore the stats and stories behind Harper's competitive nature. Harper's career has been marked by moments of sheer brilliance and fiery passion. With 267 home runs, over 800 RBIs, and a career batting average hovering around 280, his talent is undeniable. But it's his nearly 20 career ejections that often steal the headlines, leading all players in ejections since his debut. The most notorious of these ejections came in a game against the Giants in 2017. After a heated exchange with the umpire over a disputed call, Harper was sent off the field, his temper flaring as brightly as his talent. But Harper's confrontations haven't been limited to officials. His competitive spirit has sometimes led to clashes with opponents. Perhaps the most memorable was the 2016 brawl with pitcher Hunter Strickland, a culmination of a rivalry that had been simmering since Harper's two home runs off Strickland in the 2014 NLDS. Yet, these moments of conflict are just one side of the coin. 
Harper's aggressiveness is translated into unparalleled hustle on the field. His speed and quick reactions have made him a formidable outfielder with a 983 fielding percentage and numerous highlight reel plays to his name. Harper's interactions with fans have also been intense. Known for not backing down from hecklers, he's had his share of exchanges. Yet for every confrontation, there's a moment of Harper signing autographs or hitting a home run for a young fan, showcasing the duality of his fiery nature. So, is Bryce Harper truly the villain of baseball, or is he a player who refuses to be boxed into traditional narratives? His stats suggest a player of immense value, whose competitive fire sometimes overshadows his contributions on the field. Redemption arcs are the hallmark of great sports narratives, and Bryce Harper's 2021 season is a testament to this. The turning point came on a fateful night in April 2021 when a fastball struck Harper directly in the face. Miraculously, he walked off the field. The aftermath was challenging. Harper's performance at the plate suffered, leading to a temporary dip in his batting average and on-base percentage. However, true to his character, Harper turned adversity into motivation. Returning with a renewed vigor, Harper embarked on a tear through the league, culminating in a staggering second-half performance. His batting average soared to 309, accompanied by a 429 on base percentage and a 615 slugging percentage. But perhaps the most telling stat of Harper's redemption arc was his 1.044 OPS for the season, a career high that not only earned him his second MVP award, but also silenced critics who questioned his place among the game's elite. Harper's 2021 season was a masterclass in overcoming adversity. His stats post-injury paint a picture of a player reborn. As we stand today, Bryce Harper's legacy is complex with breathtaking highs and controversial lows. But one thing is clear, baseball is more electrifying with Harper in it. So what do you think? Is Bryce Harper the villain some make him out to be? Or is he simply a competitor who wears his heart on his sleeve? We at Baseball Spark absolutely think Bryce Harper is what baseball is all about. With the game turning away from the past, it's refreshing to us to see someone like him giving everything he has and won't take any bullcrap from anyone. That's our kind of player. What do you think? Villain or insane competitor? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. We'll catch you in the next inning.